Well everyone, it's time for us to go and take a look at the Nothing Phone 2A and compare it against the Nothing Phone 1 and see which particular phone is the better one for you. Now I will definitely tell you between both these devices, you know, there's definitely not one that's, you know, exponentially 1000% better than the other one, but I do have respect for both these devices. The big thing you have to keep in mind is that the Nothing Phone 1 was, was the main flagship, I would say, of the Nothing series when it first came out. So it is a little bit of a different type of device compared to the Nothing Phone 2A. But the Phone 2A, I think, is also a very, very good device too, and it's supposed to be a budget phone. So there is a little bit of a different type of layout, I would say, between both these devices. Now, if you want to pick up either one of these phones, links will be down in the description. You can get that from there, and you can help support the channel at the same time. Now, starting off with the outside of both these devices, the Nothing Phone 1 on the front has a 6.55 inch OLED display. It's a 1080p panel, and for the most part, it was like a pretty decent display when it first came out. I still think it looks fairly good for the most part, and you know, it's 1080p, you know, there's really not that much to kind of hate on here with this particular device. It's a good looking panel. I think for the most part, if you're going through and kind of, you know, messing around with this type of you know, phone, you're gonna have a pretty good display on it, and it's 120 hertz. As long, I would say as long as I have like a 120 hertz display on my device, I am pretty much okay, and that's kind of all that really matters to me. Those are really the main things I would say for the most part for these particular devices. Now with the Nothing Phone 2A, this is a little bit of a different type of device. The thing with the Nothing Phone 2A is that, again, it's supposed to be more of a budget phone, but I would say that the panels are fairly similar. The Nothing Phone 2A, you are getting a 1080p AMOLED display on this particular phone. Now, it's still 120Hz, and it still is a very, very good display for the most part. As you probably would have guessed, there's really not that much to hate on here with this particular just, you know, device either. And I think both these phones look very, very good when it kind of comes down to it. And I do think in a lot of different ways, like if I'm going through and getting some sort of device, I like the fact that this thing is a cheaper device, it doesn't cost that much, and it's a you know budget phone that still has a really good display on it. On the bottom of these you know, both these phones, they have USB Type-C ports, which is really cool. I love having USB Type-C. On top of that, both these sides on these phones are pretty much flat, so it's a pretty cool thing that the fact that we're getting kind of modern feeling phones on these, you know, both these devices is really nice, and having a flat back and having a flat sides is really, really nice. So this center of itself is very cool. Now, on top of that, another big thing here is with its back. So both these phones, kind of the, I guess the, I guess selling point of one of these nothing phones is basically the fact that they both have like this glyph interface on the backside. So it's kind of an interesting thing. You know, I kind of like it, but you can be the judge of that. Essentially what it is, is it will light up your phone if you get a notification or something. And you can go through and kind of modify this whichever way you want to. So it is actually a really cool thing. I like having that type of capability on this device. And you can customize this within the settings too, which is really cool. You're getting dual camera setups on both these devices, which again is super cool. I love having that type of capability as well. And beyond that, again, there's nothing else super crazy, I would say, going on for both these devices. They both, well, the Nothing Phone 1 is definitely a phone that's built and feels way more expensive than the Phone 2A. So if you are wanting the more expensive feeling device, you definitely are going to be getting that on a phone like the Nothing Phone 1 than on the Nothing Phone 2A. On top of that, with the Nothing Phone 2A, you're not really getting any wireless charging on that particular phone, which can be kind of a downside for some people. With the Nothing Phone 2A, you're actually able to basically get a device that is essentially a little bit more premium, but you're also getting, like on the Nothing Phone 1, you are getting wireless charging and reverse wireless charging on the device as well. So this in and of itself is another really cool thing that you can get on that particular device, which again is super cool. And that is something I really like you know, having on that type of device. So once again, that's just another big thing to keep in mind there too. Beyond that though, I think both these phones are very premium and I like both them on the back and the way they look for the most part. In terms of the camera side, you are definitely getting a little bit of a different camera setup here too. So they're both, you know, on the paper, I would say this is an interesting thing. So with the iPhone, so with the Nothing Phone 1, you're essentially getting, you know, a dual camera setup, a 50 megapixel wide and then a 50 megapixel ultra wide camera. The Nothing Phone 2A is basically the exact same thing. So this is basically the, the exact same type of camera layout that you're getting here. So you're getting, you know, dual camera setup, same megapixel count, same resolutions you can film in too. So this is another thing as well. Like if you're wanting the device that basically was giving you, you know, the better camera, there's not really one that's going to be giving you a better camera here. They're basically going to be the same as that camera when it comes down to it. The only difference that we can kind of see for the most part is that with this particular device, you are basically going to be getting a, like maybe a little bit of a higher quality camera on the Nothing Phone 1. But also the other confusing thing here is that with both these devices, you're going to be getting 
a higher megapixel count, you know, on the Nothing Phone 1 on the front camera. So that's where these things kind of become a little bit weirder is because you're going to be getting basically a higher megapixel count on the front of the Nothing Phone 2A than on the Nothing Phone 1. Even though I feel like the Nothing Phone 1 camera can be better in some ways, the Nothing Phone 2A's front camera is better, so I might just go ahead and say the Nothing Phone 2A will probably end up giving you a better camera overall than the Nothing Phone 1. It's not the biggest deal in the world, you're still going to be getting a very good camera on both, but if you're wanting the one that's probably going to be the better one, it's probably going to be the Nothing Phone you know, 2A when it kind of comes down to it. So that kind of covers it up there. In terms of performance, this is another thing. I'm not really too sure which one's going to last a longer amount of time. I would probably say the Nothing Phone 2A because it's the newer phone would last longer. But because it is the cheaper budget phone, I have a feeling that a phone like the Nothing Phone 2A may end up being the one that's going to last longer just because it is the newest you know, phone that Nothing has made. But again, we're just going to have to kind of wait and see what happens here. But they're both pretty much stock Android. There's not really like too many issues here for the most part either, which is kind of a nice thing. I love being able to use my phone and not have too many issues with it. And between both, stock Android is very nice. I like stock Android between both. And that's another cool thing going on between both these devices as well. So from that particular perspective, there's not really too much else to kind of hate on here either. Now on top of that, the performance between both these phones, it's another very interesting thing. So with the Nothing Phone 2A or the Nothing Phone 1, you're getting that Qualcomm Snapdragon 778G plus 5G chipset with 8 or 12 gigabytes of RAM. With the device and with the phone like the Nothing Phone 2A, you are now getting that MediaTek Dimensity 7200 Pro chipset inside. So that right there is just one type of chipset. And you're getting 8 or 12 gigabytes of RAM inside of this phone as well. So this is very interesting because it's just kind of all over the place. So on one hand, you are getting basically like a newer type of you know chipset, I would say, in the Nothing Phone 2A, but I have never even heard of the MediaTek chipsets in a long, long time. It's been so long since I've heard that. With the Nothing Phone 1A, I have heard of that, or the Nothing Phone 1, I've ha I have heard of that chipset before. So because of that, I have a better understanding of that chipset, and I can tell you between both, the performance really isn't that bad. Like, they're both fairly decent performing devices when it kind of comes down to it, which is something that's really cool and very important to have. You probably would want a device with the performance that's going to be very good, that's not going to have too many issues. And between both, that's kind of what's going on here. So that is something I like a lot. If I'm going to pick up one of these types of devices, I definitely wanted to have some sort of, you know, performance improvements there. And that's another really cool thing going on here as well. Unfortunately, I would say between both, you know, they're not going to be the best performing, you know, devices of all time, but they're definitely going to be good. And like I said, there's really not too much to kind of hate on there from that perspective. So to kind of sum up this whole entire comparison, what I will definitely tell you is if you're wanting the phone that's just kind of easier to buy right now and it's probably cheaper, the Nothing Phone 2A is probably the easier one for the vast majority of people. I feel like that's the phone I could probably recommend most people to probably just buy on online and you could have a really good time with it from there. That, like I said, probably would make the most amount of sense for me. But when you're looking at a phone like the Nothing Phone 1, this is the original phone. There's some improvements with this device over the Nothing Phone 2A. I feel like the chipset of that particular phone is better. And I do feel like that is probably the better device when it kind of comes down to it. But I do feel like at the same time, a phone like the Nothing Phone 2A, you know, is probably the better one when it kind of, when it kind of comes down to it in every single way. So from that side, that kind of covers it up there. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would be so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, till then.